All right, how's everybody doing out there tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, so here's kind of my thoughts. Uh, we're so we've wedged up is what's happened. Okay, so uh, now you know I'm. I, I think everybody gets we're in descending bearish volume, so I'm just gonna take this off the chart right here. Okay, so we had this double top up here on the 12 hour. All right, so the the target for that double top is you know technically it could be right here, right? It could be right here inside this, right? And what this looks like, is looks like we created a wedge right here. So we've created a wedge within our larger, right? We're within this much larger wedge that we had that we just fell out of, okay? So we just fell out of a much larger wedge, right? That would have been this one. Right, there's that. So this was our larger wedge right here. So it was this line and this line, and this was our wedge. I mean, I can plop it up there for you a little bit better. Let me grab this thing. Right, yeah, something like that. Right, so it's something like this right here. Okay, so you have this channel was our rising wedge or our flag channel, right? This is, so we created a flag. Now, the thing I was looking for is, I mean, I was still looking for, remember, this is still, this has got some, you know, you got a little, you got a little distance up here. You know, you got, you got some range where this thing can still pump to, right? And I've said that, I've said, you know, you still, your, your range can, this is the possibility of stage two, Right? Now we did fall out of this wedge right here. All right, so I'm gonna screenshot this for everybody. All right, so we did, we fell out of this big channel right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this channel, okay, because we don't need it anymore. We're gonna get rid of this top line. So this top line basically is just gonna ask, add, act as a resistance point farther up the line if we do get a big bullish bounce but for right now we're not going to use that okay we're not going to use that line uh then here's kind of our abc now was this the abc i've seen people counting out some some much larger abcs right like this or even this right here right something like this a right there's your a wave there's your this would be your B wave, and then this would be your C wave right here, right? So this would be your larger C wave option, right? Something like this up into our, our uh, you know, up into our target area up there, right? So this would be our, this is kind of like our larger, this would be the bullish, uh, corrective count ABC All right so that would be the very bullish version of this right here okay so that's our bullish version of this but right now we can also count out this way back here as an ABC so this one two three four five so you can count this out as an ABC right here all right Right, so now what we've got is, uh, so what we've got is, yeah, we need to yeah, get out of Got to watch me up on the projector. I know a much bigger screen. Uh, now, we had this trend line right here, and this was the trend line we just fell out of. So what I'm going to do is, this will work as resistance headed back up, right? Because it tested one, two, three times, four, five. So this got tested a lot. So this channel right here, is actually gonna work as a topside resistance channel. I'll turn that orange because that's what that is. That's now turned into a resistance channel. Now this top channel and this channel right here, right, that we've just created, okay? We just created, now we're in a brand new channel here now, right? So now you can do another count. So if you wanted to, you could go over here and you're just gonna be like, all right, A, B, C, D, E, failure wave, 
right? So now you're looking for this as an E failure wave. Okay, and this does not count out very well at all. And then there's, now this would be your low target. This would be your higher target. But for right now, I still want to just get back in here and test this, okay? I want to get back here and test this because this is just putting in an E wave. That's all this did. You just put in an A, B, C, D, E. And what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to get rid of that C over there, right? And there's your E wave. All right, and let's put this over here. We'll adjust this. Um, the wedge is now resistance. We'll scoot this right here. So this switch is now resistance right there. Okay, and this looks like a larger channel right now. So now you've got this larger channel that you just went into another channel. Okay, so you had the bigger channel, fell out of it, and it's creating a second channel. All right, now this is, sorry guys, this is still kind of bearish right here. Okay, this is still a bearish channel. Right. All right. So this is still a bearish channel pattern that this is playing out. Right. You've got descending volume that's kind of verifying this. Right. So the volume has been dropping. But look at the price action. You have all these pumps in the price action. So the price action, this is bullish volume. But then this now you've, you've descended and our price hasn't really dropped from here. Right. So our price is still higher than these volume candles, right, with less volume. So, I mean, technically our price should be lower. It's just being held up. Okay, so now as we enter in this, this is A, B, C, D, E. Here's the issue. You lost this. So the bulls needed to hold this. They couldn't close down here because what you were trying to count out, right, what you were trying to do is you were trying to count that this out as an A, B, C, D, E, right? One, two. Sorry, two, three, four. You couldn't break this low. And then you were trying to go to five, right? You were trying to count this out as a wave five. Here was your wave four, right? This was your wave four, A, B, C, right? And then you went one, two, three, four, five. Well, the problem is you've now violated this. You've closed multiple candles down in here, not just wicks. You've closed multiple candles and you've violated that out. So now all you can do is you can just turn this into an A, B, C, D, E here. And fingers crossed for the bulls, they're going to get some volume out of this and get, get a little, uh, you know, kick in the pants. Uh, it's the only thing the bulls can hope for right now. So for the bulls, they really need, uh, the bulls just got to get up here and break out of this triangle, right? So now... Still, the bulls still need to break this level up here. They still need to get past 4268. In my mind, that's going to come up here and top out over this. You're going to actually break this lower. Now, this was a lower high, right? But we haven't put in a low. A, we haven't put in a lower low. We're just working inside of this wedge pattern here. So I'm just waiting for this to play out. Break the top side. You go bullish. Right, you go bullish. So the bulls, the bulls want to break both of these wet, all of these wedges right here. They want to break this wedge. They want to break this wedge. Nope, oh, Jesus Christ, let go, let go. There you go. They want to break this wedge. This is what the bulls want to break. They need to get up here and they need a breakout first of this area, and then they need to break this area. And then they'll break this wedge pattern. This wedge pattern will be broken for them, right? But they're going to need volume to do it. We're two hours into this candle. Look at this volume candle. That's a two-hour volume candle. That's, that's just, You're on a four-hour chart. That's two hours. That's 50% of the total volume in here, okay? So that's that's not a very healthy. That shows me this is artifact you know this is just a relief bounce of some kind maybe on a super low time frame uh that you you know you got some super oversold rsi and you're getting a little bit of bounce out of here but this baby is just gonna 
plunge right back down. And I would like to see a test of this before we get, because what you're going to do is now you're in a bigger channel, right? I'd like to see us go into this larger channel right here. And this larger channel, you, know, you can start to draw some really big wedges coming all the way back here, there to there to there, right? You can do this wedge, right? From there all the way over to there, right? Now you got a much bigger wedge, right? A, B, C, D, E, right? Now you can start to play out this much larger wedge right here. So you got your A wave, right? This would be a B wave still down to here. And then you got to see, but I want to hold this. This has to get hold. Nah, this has to be held by the bulls right here. They need to hold this spot right here. They want to hold this to make this more of a symmetrical triangle, right? This symmetrical triangle right here is more bullish, right? This would be a much more bullish triangle if they could create a symmetrical triangle. A symmetrical triangle would help them to break up. Okay, you, this is higher chances of breaking up, but they need to touch the bottom of this hold, then break out, and then we could see, then I'd be looking for much more confidence in this breaking to the upside right here. Okay. All right, and go give me one second. Uh, let's take a look. So we got a, Oni dropped us a chart. He's got the vamp fib on there. Ah, good look at that. Came up, tapped the vamp fib. Uh, beautiful reversal wick. This is on the three minute. This is a super low. I usually never go this low on my charts, right? It's super low right there. So, uh, you know, all we got to do is we're just got to wait and play this out. But right now we are not seeing any buyers. There's just no buyers. Let's go over and take a look at our notes. Okay. We're going to look at our notes over here. Uh, there is the potential of a double bottom right here, just like you had here. Look at the double bottom. Right, so that's why I drew this wedge. I drew this wedge because of that double bottom right there. There it is, there's that double bottom, just like you got here. Up, down, double bottom, up, target the top of that wedge, there it is, right? Come down, tap the bottom of this, bounce off. If this is an A, B, C, D, E, this would be the E failure wave, which would bring us down to our next support level, which would then bring us to our larger wedge, okay? So I still want to see this tested before I see this tested, right? And or this tested. Okay, this is, I want to see this. I want to see an A, B, C, right? And then I want to see an A, B, C or a bigger volume run out with this symmetrical triangle. All right, that's pretty much all I got right there for everybody. Just a little quick uh, update I wanted to do. I still have my possible stage two all the way up here. I did do an earlier chart uh, for the members. I can share that with you guys real quick. I just did a training session on the NVT. This is the chart I used for the training session. I want to show you what happened back in 2014. Here is a possible wave count out. I kind of have this in comparison to what happened back over here. If this does play out right here, we would be looking to find baby bull Jesus really quick. I was just, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's just a potential. This is what I would call the more bearish. Actually, I would look at this as the more bullish potential because I feel falling out here will get us down to baby bull Jesus as quickly as possible. If we can get down to baby bull Jesus, the sooner the better. We can all start moving out of our mother's basements, okay? We can all start, you know getting those girlfriends that are actually not, you know, you know, trailer park girls. I know Adam's into that kind of stuff right now. Okay. Um, and I think that's it. Okay. So, I, I would, like I said, I would like to see this play out. I would like to see this hold. This is the hold. This is it. This is the hold right here. We want to hold this and turn this into a symmetrical triangle. All right. So for the vamp, and all of a sudden until one mil, I am.